of April. Gold had one of its best quarters in a number of years. The US 30 actually had one of its best quarters in a number of years. Uh, but we're onto a brand new start right now. And today it's all about non-farm payrolls due later on today. And that promises to add a little bit of extra excitement into the market. And there's actually quite a fair amount of data due out today as well. So what's likely to happen? Well, ADP private payrolls on Wednesday came in pretty much as expected at 200,000. And the dollar has been retreating since Janet Yellen pretty much said that the macro data did not support any further rate hikes at this time. Obviously, we talked before about the schizophrenic flip-flopping nature of a lot of the Fed members, but ultimately Yellen is the chair. So the question is, if non-farm payrolls comes in today really, really good, is that actually going to be good for stocks or bad for stocks? As if it comes in too strong, does that mean that they might raise rates in the future or not? Uh, versus if it comes out really weak, does that actually cause the markets to go up um, because it's more likely that they're going to keep rates for lower for longer. So um, depending on your own view yourself, it promises to be a very interesting day. But that's pretty much going to be the dominance of, uh, of the fundamentals today. It's all about the macro data from the US and the impact that might have could be, uh, could be quite significant, depending on how far it comes in below or above expectations. And we'll cover that when we look at the market calendar at the end of the video. So let's go ahead and have a look at things from a technical perspective, starting off as ever with the US 30. So you can see here that we've had actually a little doji formation just at the very end, and we've actually dipped a little bit lower this morning, although we are off a little bit away from the session lows. Um, this is probably gonna start a flat line later on towards into the afternoon, um, especially as people will be waiting for the non-farm payrolls figure uh, to figure out what they're going to go ahead and do next. 76% of CMC Marcus clients are currently long, short, my mistake. Uh, UK 100, failure to break through what's maybe becoming a bit of a channel formation right here. In fact, I'm going to get my drawing tool out and I think it's probably worth putting something there for now. We are, we are arguably within this uh, narrowing trading range. Uh, we're on the wrong side of that 21 period SMA. Looks to be 60, 70 is still a potential support level. 63% of CMC Marcus clients are currently short. Moving on to Japan, 225. That's a really negative move that we've had right here. Uh, TAC and survey data is showing that there's a wor kind of worsening sentiment over in Japan and calls for the Bank of Japan to do even more. A uh, very negative candle right there. We've smashed through 16.384. Next potential support would be the tips of these candles, but the longer term potential support would be down at 14.671. We're below both moving averages. Uh, we've got a negative crossover on the MACD and everything else is trending down. 93% of CMC Marcus clients think this uh, move potentially is overdone because it's currently a net long position building. Looking at uh, dollar yen, dollar yen slowly drifting that little bit lower as the US dollar still continues to lose momentum. Uh, people are buying the yen in terms of uncertainty. 111 uh, is a potential, spot 61 is still a potential support level. Tips of these candles and down here might add some extra additional support as well. Moving on to crude oil West Texas, uh, it's continuing to move lower, now trading below 37 spot 56. Below the 21 period SME, the next potential support is $35.13. 52% of CMC market clients are currently short, showing that people don't really know what to do next. Moving on to gold. Gold, as I said, I had one of the best quarters it's had in a long time. Uh, is really struggling to pick a direction right now. Uh, longer term potential support, 1191. Longer term potential resistance, 1307. Non-farm payrolls today comes in worse than expected. Uh, that would be good for gold probably uh, because that means it's less likely to raise interest rates anytime soon. Uh, if it comes on wildly better than expected, that's going to add a little bit of pressure onto the yellow metal. Moving on to Euro dollar and GBPUSD, Euro having a great day yesterday is Mario Draghi's um, uh, comments on uh, negative interest rates not really uh, taking the strength out of the Euro at the moment. Obviously you've got dollar weakness as well, but this is spiking that little bit higher. Next potential resistance, one spot 14.89. And then GBP USD um, kind of stuttering and failing to break higher. So the Euro is obviously outperforming the, the, the sterling relative to the US dollar. Uh, it does look to be that one spot 43.52 is a potential support level. The tips of these candles right here are indicative of selling pressure as we move higher. So I think uh, sterling dollar needs a really rubbish non-farm payrolls figure to have a, a kind of shot in the arm to get up to chance to rechallenge one spot 45. Comes in pretty much as expected. You're not going to get a huge amount of volatility, I don't think. 59% of CMC Marcus clients are currently short, so they're anticipating that there's further weakness to be had. And if we have a quick look at the market calendar, we can get a look to see all the macro data that's due out today. 
We've already had the TACAN data that came in not that great, to be honest, in Japan. Uh, we do have PMI in Germany, the Eurozone, the UK, unemployment rate in the Eurozone, and then that non-farm payrolls figure later on today. And then we round up with the University of Michigan Sentiment Index data and the ISM data at the end of the session. Uh, nothing over the weekend. And on Monday, all you've got is factory orders from the US. Well, that's it for me, guys. Very good luck with your trading. And join me again on Monday to find out what happened next. Thank you very much and goodbye.